in this video uh, we shall study about biot sawar's law now before going to the concept of biot sawar's law let me explain what is that magnetic force first of all basically we know that uh, the magnet will produces the magnetic field around it right the magnetic field is nothing but the region where you are going to observe the magnetic effects magnetic effects it is the region where you are going to observe the magnetic effects of course that uh, magnet is one of the source of magnetic field and we have another source for the magnetic field this magnetic field is also produced by the charge which is in motion or you can say that electric current electric current is also considered as a source of magnetic field because this electric current will produce as the magnetic field around it whenever a conductor carrying current i it will produces the magnetic field around it that's why we consider that electricity or electric current is also source of magnetic field then what that birds or what's the says i told that uh, that electric current is a source of magnetic field for how much of electricity we have how much test law of magnetic field andre eshtu am eshtu quantity of electricity ge nanu eshtu magnetic field ide the magnetic field is generally measured by a tesla units right magnetic field is generally measured by or uh, uh, that uh, tesla will define the uh, describes the magnetic field so for how much of quantity of current i have how much of a uh, magnetic field at some point i told that this conductor will carry the current i right this conductor uh, carrying the current i this electric current which is in the conductor will produce some magnetic field how much of magnetic field is produced that is the question from how much quantity of electricity so the relation between the current i and the magnetic field can be explained by biot sawars and that is what that biot sawars law he says that the magnetic field at some point will also depends on some quantities and which are those quantities and uh, what is the relation between that electricity and magnetic field we will discuss under the law that is what biot sawars law let me explain that biot sawars right by taking some example by taking an example we shall understand that biot sawars law let me consider a straight conductor this is just a pot of conductor let me name it as x1 x1 is a pot of conductor which carrying current i this is a conductor carrying current i whenever there is a current in the conductor we will observe the magnetic field right that uh, let me say uh, this is a region of magnetic field at this point let me say that p is a point where i have to find out the magnetic field the strength of the magnetic field. this is a point of uh, this is a point where i have to find out the strength of the magnetic field because of the current in the conductor right because of the current in the conductor i have a magnetic field at point p this magnetic field will depends on many quantities and which are those quantities the magnetic field db will depends on dl right will depends on dl how you know i'll know that uh, for the moment of charge let me consider this is a conductor if there is current if there is current it meets some like that means if there is a charge if there is a charge q that charge q needs some length let me consider ab here i am considering ab ab is a length and that is what dl dl is a length this length we that that the current that, that sorry the charge need that length for the moment if there is a moment that is leads to electric current that will is that is what the source of magnetic field if there is no moment of charge there is no electricity whenever there is no electricity there is no magnetic field around the conductor that's why this db is depends on the length of the conductor and the source that what with the strength of the electricity also therefore this db is directly proportional to strength of the conductor strength of the or the, uh, the quantity of the electricity and the length of the conductor if the source or uh, the electricity is i the magnitude of the magnetic field be more if the length of the conductor increases the magnitude of the magnetic field also increases right this is magnitude of the magnetic also increases and let me join this current uh, this ab is known as which is equal to ideal what called current element this ab is called current element right if i join the point p from the current element is at a distance this p is at a distance or from the current element 
and this line will make an angle theta with ideal or with TAB with current element. This line will make the angle theta. This DB, the DB at, at P is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from ideal to that point. This DB, right, inversely proportional to the square of the distance, which is similar to the Coulomb's law. In case of Coulomb's law, the electric field is inversely proportional to the R square. Similarly, in this case, the, the, the magnetic field DB is inversely proportional to the what? R uh, square of the distance between them. That is what? Inverse square law. It also obeys inverse square law. Similarly, this DB is also proportional to here. In, at this point, I have some test of magnetic field. At a distance R. Let me consider this is a point which is at the same distance. Let me B. Sorry, not B. You can take that uh, R for our convenience. It is a point R which is at a distance small R from the current element. At this point, and if I measure the current element, sorry, if I measure the magnetic field at this point, I get some different value, what I get in at P. That means, at this point, the electric field is maximum, sorry, the, mag the magnetic field is maximum, when compared to this point, because the theta as a main uh, will play an important role, important role in the magnitude of the magnetic field. This theta will play an important, important role in the magnitude of the magnetic field. At this point, the, uh, the magnetic field becomes zero. Right? right. I want that. What is that? At same distance, or that means at, at all points having same distance, the, when you measure the magnetic field is different. Because this theta will influences the magnetic field. That's why he said that at this point, the magnetic field is maximum because at this, the theta is equal to 90 degree, sin theta, sin 90 is 1. At this point, at that point, the magnetic field is maximum. What I am going to tell you here, the same distance is the same distance, the same point is the same distance, all is same, but theta will raise. Whenever theta varies, the magnetic field also varies. That means this theta has an important role in the strength of the magnetic field. In the strength of the magnetic field. That's why dB is directly proportional to sin theta. By concluding this three, I will write that dB is directly proportional to ideal sin theta divided by R square. Divided by R square. So I have to equate this dB to this and I have to remove that proportionality proportionality symbol by capital proportionality constant k that ideal sin theta divided by r square and here k is equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi where mu naught is permeability of free space permeability of free space therefore db is equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi ideal sin theta divided by r square. This is what the expression of Biot-Savorsky law, which gives, that means, the Biot-Savorsky law established that this dB will depend on many constants like current and the dL and the theta and which is the angle between the current element and the line joining the point P. And it is also inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. We know the source of the magnetic field is I. Is this the source of the magnetic field is I. This dB is also depends on such quantities and that quantities are length, angle and square of the distance between that point. This is what bias was done. Here, mu naught is permeability of free space. What is that permeability? Permeability is nothing but characteristic of space. Characteristic of space which allows the magnetic field. If permeability is more, then magnetic field is also more. Which is same in case of epsilon naught. This epsilon you will observe in electric field, in case of electric field. In case of magnetic field, you will observe mu naught. In, in case of magnetic field, you will observe mu naught. But in this case, in electric field, as mu naught increases, electric field decreases. But in this case, as permeability increases, the magnetic field also increases. And this is what uh, some brief note about uh, bio -sabastra.